Welcome. I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles. And today we are going to be making pastry cream. Let's get started. For our pastry cream, we are going to need four egg yolks, a quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one and a half cups of milk, and half of vanilla bean that I'm going to split and scrape the seeds out in order to give the pastry cream a really nice speckled vanilla look to it. We're going to take our egg yolks and our sugar and our cornstarch and we're going to start to uh, blend them together. One of the things that's important with regards to combining egg yolks and sugar is that if you blend them too soon you, and let them sit for several minutes, say 10 to 20 minutes, the sugar is going to wind up pulling moisture out of the egg yolks and it's going to wind up get, making them really coarse and grainy. Before I mix those together, I'm going to go ahead and take my dairy and I'm going to start to heat it up on top of the stove, scald it. And while I'm scalding, I'm going to add in my vanilla bean. This is an entire vanilla bean. It should be nice and soft and pliable. We're going to take half the bean and basically take it and split it in half lengthwise. Then I'm going to take the back of my knife and scrape down the inside of the bean and all these little black specks that are coming out are the seeds from the vanilla. I'm right? going to take that and get it into my cream and as it scalds the flavor is going to wind up being spread through all, all throughout the liquid. And while that's heating up I'm going to take my sugar and my cornstarch and mix it together in my egg yolks. Make sure you blend it up really, really well. The yolks are going to start to become pale in color. That's absolutely fine. Once I have my dairy scalded, once I start to get bubbles all around the circumference of the pot, I need to actually take this hot liquid and combine it with this egg yolk mixture. If I take all this hot liquid and pour it in right away, the egg yolks are going to scramble. So what we commonly do is a technique called tempering. I'm going to wind up taking a small amount of the hot liquid and start to gradually pour it into my yolks while I stir it around with a whip. The bowl can spin around, that's fine. I'm also going to take the hot liquid and pour it over the wires of the whip. Once I have about two-thirds of that incorporated into the bowl, I'm going to take the mixture that I have and pour it back into the pot. And then this is going to go back onto the stove and I'm going to start to cook this over a medium to medium low heat. One of the things that's very important is to keep the mixture moving. I like to use a spatula so I can get all around the circumference of the pot and all over the bottom of the pot. Once this liquid starts to come up to a boil, the cornstarch is going to start to gelatinize and the mixture is going to thicken dramatically. It's going to become a real thick paste. Okay. There we have it. You can see how the liquid thickens dramatically. You can actually see the bottom of the pot very briefly when I take the spatula and go across the bottom. And as this cools off, this will thicken up even more. Now that our pastry cream is finished, one of our uses for pastry cream is to fill up some pate choux shells to make, a, uh, make an eclair. Take the pastry cream right into there and go ahead and fill it up. that's done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.